Hello, Timber. Oh my gosh, Hatena does exist in the wild. I mean, it does now. <laughs> it technically did before, but I think I've only seen like one of them in Paldea. <laughs> okay. Hard to use raid dance for that one. Always oh, carrying squared logs. They help out with construction. As they grow, they carry bigger logs. Okay, goodbye, Timber. It's a little bewildering finding a ladder on the mountain. Just because I've had to climb with um, Miraidon on this whole mountain. Like, I don't use the paths, I just climb the mountain. But there was a ladder here the whole time. Oh my gosh. Wait, what type was this poison? Hmm. When in doubt, just use Golden Go to handle all your raid problems for you. <laughs> Oh, this thing's level 86. Mm. It just used Nightshade and took over half of my health. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah, yeah, I wasn't trying to click on the Terror Orb. I was trying to hit Nasty Plot. Thank you. Oh gosh. One of the randos just did almost half this thing's health. <laughs> this must be very low leveled. Or something. Because that Moonblast didn't do as much as I would have thought. You just did that! Stop nullifying my stat changes, dang it! That is unfortunate. <laughs> you know, with the uh, time of day being connected to the story, I have not seen that many ghost types. Oh, uh, yeah, that old thing. The only reason I found this one is because it was one of the terastalized spawns. Yeah, I... Understand blocking time of day on story, but it does kind of suck when you have time based encounters. Yeah. I'm still confused on how I found a, a poltergeist um, in Apple Hills. Uh, um, I mean, it probably just shows up there very rarely. Like, it's not on the um, encounter. Um, area in yeah, the map. That's not very reliable as it turns out. <laughs> like oh, okay. people were complaining about it back in the base game. Okay. Oh, well, that makes me feel better. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think so. Toad School, obviously, the main places you'd normally say are, are like around Madali or in Sora Cat Trail. But you can theoretically find it much earlier on still. It's just rare, I guess. Interesting. And I don't know if that shows up on the Pokédex thing, but it shows up on the minimap radar. Oh, not the minimap radar. I mean the Pokédex. I checked the yeah, Pokédex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's that's what I mean. 
That's what I mean. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it does show up on the mini map radar, but not in the Pokédex, I think. Okay. I've never actually checked, though, but... <laughs> I assume there's just little things like that where they're just in a very limited area and they only show, like, the areas where they're commonly seen or something. I don't know. I know the main thing for some people is not being able to take specific forms. Because, like... Mm -hmm. Uh, for Toro specifically, the forms of it don't show up in all the places just the regular one does. Yeah, that makes sense. Anyways, Hakamo. It gets into fistfights so intense that the scales on its arms peel off. Bare arms are a sign of valiance. Interesting. Mm, another thing about the Tauros, I never ever saw a fire or water Tauros in the overworld. I've really? only gotten them in Terra raids. I've run into quite a few at this point. Fire, obviously. I haven't really played with you in those areas long enough to find water, but... Oh, yeah. Actually, just the other day I found a fire one in a place I didn't even think they could show up. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, I've never seen them outside of terror raids. Yeah. It's definitely rare, but... Um... There's a part of me that kind of wants to use this level 67 ducklet against this poor woman who's just standing here. <laughs> <laughs> but he go to the mountains, he can only do two things. Stare and gnaw and climb them? I, I don't know. Oh, she has an Alolan sand shrew. Very cool. I feel like I saw one of those recently. Must have been in a randomizer. I saw I an Alolan Sand Slash recently in a randomizer. <laughs> 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 and Vulpix. Is it also Alolan? Yes, it is. Oh. Oh no, it has three strike. Oh no. Goodbye, Duckling. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> um, anyways. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm trying to convince Freeze myself. Is such a scary I'm trying to convince myself to not use a Mighty Anna again, but it's it's a losing battle. Just use the Mighty Anna, you oh, love no. them. Oh, it's freeze. Well, it's mostly a problem in terms of the fact that there's other dark types I do like that I've never used before. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I finally got to use um, Absol and BDSP. I have like three of them now. Uh, Absol is great. They're always late game, but in BDSP they were not, so I was able to use them. Come on, defrost. Darn it. Okay, this is turning into a problem now. It is so funny watching a cutie fly use bitter malice. That sounds amazing. <laughs> hmm. 
My cutie fly is evolving. Yeah, honestly, I kept losing all my battles. I mean, I'd, with get, I'd get Galay to finish them for me. <laughs> but I kept losing all my new Pokemon, which meant um, I just bit the bullet and used a rare candy to get the one level oh. to evolve them. Mm -hmm. They're doing a little bit better now. It is... Galay does have the EVs too, which helps for sure. Oh, yeah. Like, using a Pokemon that has all the Eevees versus ones that have basically none. Yeah. Pretty noticeable difference. Um, Rebombi. Rebombi can sense when people or Pokemon are feeling down and will cheer them up with handmade pollen puffs. Oh. And as much as I do like you, I've never used a Sawaddle before, so that's probably the bug type I would keep around. Oh, I found a Hakamo. Maybe I was just in the wrong area. Oh, maybe so. So far, I have the Kamo and Hakamo now, and they were both from raids. <laughs> oh my gosh. This one's a uh, terrestrialized overworld. Oh, nice, nice. Well, that means it's not version exclusive, at least. So that yep. means something, I guess. Wow. Mm. Oh, it's level 78, no wonder. I'm still faster, though. Ooh, TM. Yeah, it's just endure. Dang. Anything interesting in the water, or is it just magic carp? I mean, you already found the low tags. Ooh, earthquake. Paradise Barrens. Makes me think of Gates to Infinity. Mm. The very beginning of the game. Yeah. Oh, there's a Jeng model. Maybe I'll put that on my team. Never trained one. I still oh, remember the, the first time ball. playing Sun. The first <laughs> JMO I ran into was shiny. I know! <laughs> <laughs> that was cool, though. Yeah. Oh, I killed it. Oh. That's sad. Hopefully there's another one around here somewhere.
Better not take as long to find swim. it. Hmm? Look at my little duck swim. <laughs> So if you pick up items too fast, the scrolly thing at the on the side that tells you what items you got can't actually keep up. Hi Kieran, I just scaled the side of a mountain to get here. <laughs> Nikki, did you have trouble getting across that narrow path? What narrow path? <laughs> I never <laughs> found it. <laughs> there it is, the treaded tent. This is supposed to be the ogre's home. At least that's what everyone says. I come here all the time, but I've never seen it. Maybe a powerful ogre like that would only show up if it heard some kind of battle going on. That's a thought. Uh, oh yeah, I think I've gotten a bit stronger since the last time we battled. So, you know, if you wanted to, we could battle. I think I've technically gotten weaker, but sure, I'll battle you. <laughs> Amazing. Alright, though, we should heal up our teams first. I'm not sure, actually. It's hard to say. I do have a level 67 duck now. <laughs> I'll give it all I got. I, I got this. Where's the other sand tree, though? He has a ferret now. <laughs> this time I'll put up a good fight. Feather dance it. It's just up to special defense. Do not like that. <laughs> oh no! I have not found another Zhang Mao. Oh, here it is. Never mind, I spoke too soon. It's so cute. Well, you can't double-edge this, but it's also a special attacker. I guess I can use Nasty Plot to offset the, uh, the Amnesia. You fool, you can't use double-edge on a bell sprout. I mean, why not? It's not a bell sprout. Hurrah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, because it's so thin, you can't. If a target, it's hard <laughs> to hit. <laughs> yeah, it's like they can't just dodge in, in the games. <laughs> I still love that, just using muck to fall over on it, basically. Yes. <laughs> Polywhirl. Oh, let's see what Swabloon can do. I think I am going to put the Shang Mako on my team. No, oh, my Razor Leaf missed. Hmm. Now I gotta figure out what to name this little guy. And now his takedown has missed. And now my second Razor Leaf has missed. Oh my goodness. I don't see any fog. What is going on here? Oh, I don't miss fog. No. Fog was, uh... It was something.
Okay, sorry, Swaddler. It just used belly drum. As much as I'd love for you to try and take this thing out. If you die, then that's less friendship. I'm debating naming this thing Mo O O O. <laughs> I've already got Bobo Boba, so. It does fit, that's for sure. Yanma. <laughs> Oh man, I lost. You're no match for the level 67 duck. Which did something, I guess. I knew it, you really are strong, Nikki. How am I ever gonna be able to defeat you? If the ogre saw that battle, I'm sure he'd be thinking, that kid's got real strength. See, my school, Blueberry Academy, it's a school that specializes in teaching the art of Pokemon battling. If I was as strong as you, maybe I could aim to be the best trainer there. Let's go have a look at the ogre's den. Half of my team is 7th gen. Oh, nice. It was a good I gen. I just realized this. It, it was a good gen. Watch your head. Oh, it is just a tiny little room, isn't it? See how dark it is in here? And cramped. Even the floor is all rough and uneven. Living all alone in a place like this would get pretty miserable, don't you think? Poor ogre. We have plenty of room at our house. I would have totally let it stay with us. When can I <laughs> You good? Sorry, just dialogue options. <laughs> anyway. Uh, no, I'm not. I've just always liked the stories about the ogre, that's all. Except the compliment, dang it. But, but if the ogre really did show up to stay at our place, I'm sure the whole town would freak. Whoa, no way. The sun's already gone down. Never thought I'd see the day. I guess we'll have to save the last iron board for tomorrow. Oh, I almost forgot. Today's the first day of the Festival of Masks over at Kitakami Hall. It's this big event where everyone puts on masks and runs around celebrating. I mean, it's not like you gotta go or anything, but if you wanted to, you know, check it out, well, it'd be fun. Let's go together! Yeah, why not? It'd be great to go together. There's just a few things we'd have to get ready first, so we should swing by my house before heading to the festival. We live in the northwest corner of the village. It's, um, let's see. I can maybe draw a map. I have a Rotom. You want me to register it on your map? Yeah, I could give that a try. Wow, it sure is handy having a map that shows you everything right there on your phone. I'm gonna ask if I can get a Rotom phone someday, too. I'll be right behind you, if you want to head to my family's place first. See you there! 
Imagine if Kieran was actually following you around the whole time. Like if you ever just looked behind you, you could see him lurking behind bushes or something. Oh, that would be so funny. You can't even go into the cave. It's purely a cutscene area. Dang. Yeah, I guess this is a fairly narrow path. Now that I'm actually on it. I wanted there to be something here, but there's not. Aww. Okay, is there anything I missed by kind of completely skipping the upper portion? <laughs> I wouldn't know. So I did okay. the same thing. That's a geodude. Maybe I'll train That's a looking. lot of geodude. I don't really like Lullaby, but I've never trained one. I think Mandibuzz is fine. I really don't like Volby, but Mandibuzz is okay. Buzz is okay. A lot of people don't really care for that line from what I've heard. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people just don't like vultures to begin with, so that probably doesn't help. Yeah. Volbeat. Volbeat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how many second gen Pokemon there are, and I still manage to not have a single one on my team. Yes, sir. There's a lot of... Yeah. At least starting off, there were. In, like, the beginning areas. Yeah. And apparently there's Hoot Hoot somewhere. Not that you'd ever know it, because it's not allowed to be nighttime. <laughs> right, yeah. What should I name this Volaby? I might actually train it. Mm. Martha. Oh. Um. Gosh, I'm just drawing blanks right now. Okay. For some reason, my brain is telling me it should start with M because all of the names I'm thinking of start with M, but I have no idea why. Okay, it's gonna be Mandy. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that maybe that's why. <laughs> <laughs> I will give it this, this, as the highest stamp of approval. It's better <laughs> than Ilumise. That's, that's the highest stamp I can give it, though. <laughs> that's hilarious. I don't know, it's like... It's okay, I guess. Like, if it evolved into something cooler, I'd probably... Like, it wouldn't bother me to use it or anything, but... As is, it's just kind of there. I don't know. It's funny, because I like Illumise better. It lives around clean ponds. At night, its rear lights up. It converses with others by flashing its light. I think the biggest thing is that... Fireflies have the potential to be something, like, really cool. Oh, yeah, and they did that. And they're just... not... 
Yeah. I got you. I think they're supposed to be cute. I can get that, but... Yeah, but they didn't really carry that out well. Coughing around here are the same level as my duck. That's how you know I'm quote unquote not supposed to be here yet. <laughs> Doesn't really matter when I've already completed the main story and can sort of go and do whatever I want. Coughing! Toxic gas is held within its thin balloon shaped body so it can cause massive explosions. I guess it means thin in terms of, like, how thick it is. I mean, that's generally what thin means. Well, no, I mean, like, normally when people say something is thin, it's like, oh, my cat is really thin, like, I can wrap one of my hands. <laughs> like... If I put both of my hands around her body, then I can actually touch my fingertips together, right? Like that yeah. type of thing. But Coughing's whole body is literally a sphere, which is kind of the opposite of thin in some ways. Yeah. So I think it's just talking about how thick its skin specifically is. Oh, okay. So that, that's more what I'm trying to get at, I guess. But, as a side note, cats really are surprisingly thin. Yeah. And like, I've pretty much always known that, right? Because everyone knows the whole like, Oh, they're whiskers, you know? Unless it's like a really overweight cat. Then as long as their head with its whiskers can fit then the rest of it can too. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, no, sorry. I'm just watching this sand slash and horror. It just maxed out its attack with three sword stances in a row. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that that is horrifying. Oh, there's a Lumise. I wonder if you can start... Finding more night stuff at the dusk time? I think dusk counts as a different time, actually. Yeah. I mean, it does for Lycan Rock. I'm just not sure if the night ones come out at dusk or after dusk, I guess. I would say probably after, simply probably. because... Because I think uh, the day stuff stays... Uh, Volbeat and Illumis don't show up at night. They only show up at dusk. Yep. But those are, those are probably like the only ones that do though. They're fireflies. Maybe yeah. not though. Guess we'll find out. I mean, I guess there's probably dusk like in rocks somewhere around here too, but... Because those show up at dusk as well. Anyways. Well, that's cool. I mean, I know it makes sense with the name, but I've never seen a wild dust like in Rock. Yeah, I've seen one once, and it wasn't even me playing it. It was someone else. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's very rare. It is a narrow window of time, too, so that certainly doesn't help. Milamise uses a sweet scent to guide Volbeat, having them form over 200 patterns in the night sky. There are so many items to pick up on the ground. Like, I usually have to start waiting to pick things up. Just so that I know what they are. Because my, um... The notifications can't keep up. Uh... Sand Slash. It is adept at attacking with the spines on its back and its sharp claws while quickly scurrying about. Oh, we might be in the same area. No, my sand true just evolved. <laughs> oh, okay. From catching the, uh, the Illumise. 
I'm actually kind of down by the beginning again, I think. Okay, yeah. I'm near the back. I just, like, jumped off the mountain and glided and ended up here, so... 